Kurt, what did Mark tell you about his ambitions here, other than to basically just get in on the action? Yeah, he said that he looked around at the marketplace, uh, and what he thought he saw was that all the video chat services people were using were enterprise services. They were the kind of things that you would usually use for work or for a formal meeting, and he thought that there was room to create something that uh, felt a little bit more social and a little bit more fun. And so that's where Facebook tries to thread the needle here. They have this big group video chat service, but it has a handful of features that are supposed to feel less uh, cumbersome and 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 uh, stuffy. And so, you know, you can use AR filters. You can jump in and out of rooms. You could go visit, you know, different groups of friends really easily. Uh, he's hoping that this offers a, a nice alternative to Zoom. Well, it's interesting because many consumers are now using Zoom. I mean, Zoom dinner parties, Zoom birthday parties uh, happening as we're all stuck inside. And I wonder, can Facebook really get a chunk of the action at this point, or is it too late? Especially given some of the, the issues that Facebook's had around trust and, and concerns about Facebook um, knowing too much about us. You know, it's interesting, right, because Zoom, uh, for, for most people, their first introduction to Zoom has been over those last couple months, I'm sure for you, and I know for me, I've been using Zoom for work for years now, and it never really felt like the kind of place I would want to have a dinner party with my family, but in some ways, uh, it, it materialized that way because it was really the only thing uh, widely available. What I do think Facebook has an advantage of here is, um, you know, they have a, a massive built-in user base, right? They said, uh, Mark said, that 700 million people are using uh, Messenger or WhatsApp for voice calls or video calls every single day. So these are people who already use Facebook's product. So I don't think that by next week we're going to see Facebook, uh, you know, having dinner parties on this thing in the same way Zoom does. But I do think that Facebook has such a massive advantage when it comes to a built-in audience that this is the kind of thing that, you know, six months from now uh, may seem like a, a real, uh, you know, equal footing, if not surpassing Zoom in terms of size. 